Hi, my name is Jim Kurtz with Harvest Harmonics. And in this short presentation, I'm going to introduce you to a breakthrough in biophysics. That's the laws of physics applied to biology, which is allowing farmers to increase their yields, improve the quality of their fruits and vegetables, and do so while reducing their input costs. Now, if all that sounds too good to be true, I want to invite you to spend a few minutes with me as I lay out exactly how this technology works, why it's so successful, and how you can take advantage of this amazing opportunity. So let me share my screen here and let's dive in. So we are calling this, of course, the future of farming today for the simple reason that this technology is at least 15 to 20 years ahead of its time in terms of normal research. So our mission as a company with Harvest Harmonics is to help farmers produce better quality fruits and vegetables for everyone to eat, to do so with higher yields and reduced input costs, and to do all of that without harming the environment. So what is the basis of this technology? Well, the inventor of this technology knew that every living thing on this planet has a frequency. Human beings, birds, fish, and even plants have a metabolism which operates according to a very specific frequency. And he studied plant physiology for over 20 years to determine the exact frequencies of healthy, productive plants. So to give you an idea of this, he looked at, for example, a healthy sunflower that was producing uh, very high quality leaves, very green, lush, vigorous, lots of flowers, and doing very well. And he noticed that the metabolism of this plant operated according to a very specific pattern that could be measured with his sensitive equipment. He looked at the same varieties of plants that were not doing as well, that were dying or otherwise not healthy. And when he measured their metabolism, the frequency was altered and corrupted, as you can see here. He was able to discover over 3,000 very unique signaling systems that correspond to healthy plants. And he programmed those frequencies into microtransmitters, which look like small computer chips. There are over 3,000 unique signals of radio waves that determine the exact frequency patterns of a healthy plant. Now, I want you to understand that this technology has never seen before. There have been other technologies which utilize irrigation systems like magnets or water treatments. And our technology has nothing to do with that. What happens is when we install these microtransmitters to an irrigation system, water can carry these radio wave signals to the plants in much the same way that a submarine can send a signal or communication from under the water and into a tower. It goes through water and then air and even in through the antenna through physical substances. When the plants absorb the frequencies of the Kiminasi plant booster, they grow stronger, healthier, and faster. They produce more flowering and more fruits and vegetables. And the fruits and vegetables have higher quality than previously. And we've measured this over hundreds of different experiments where we're testing side-by-side -side comparisons of controlled fields versus our treated fields. The next question we get the most often is how is this product installed? It's very easily installed onto an irrigation system, much like you see on the left. Any field over five acres is installed right to the outside of the pump or water source, and you just water your field the way you normally would. If you have a smaller farm or you're doing a small trial to prove to yourself the effectiveness of this technology, we have pre-made pipes that have our microtransmitters pre-installed. And all you do is plumb them right into your irrigation line and water your crops as you normally would. Our system handles the rest. So the two key areas that our system really improves is photosynthesis efficiency. It will help widen the range of conditions under which photosynthesis occurs. So even in hot weather, cloudy weather, or dry weather, a Kiminasi plant booster will keep the plant producing photosynthesis and energy at a very high level. The second key area that our technology improves is soil health. We improve the microbial activity in the soil. We improve the soil conductivity, which means the pH and sodium content of the soil. And we can improve the water retention characteristics of the soil, as I'll show you in a few minutes here. So when we look at photosynthesis efficiency, we see greater growth and faster growth. We see more fruit and flower production, and we see better quality. To give you an example of some of these, we've seen 100% faster growth rate on citrus trees in California. We took a one-year-old seedling versus a two-year-old seedling, and we saw tremendous differences in growth rate. 
Here we have a picture of that growth with a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left, you see a two-year-old seedling. And on the, left, on the right, we have the treated one-year-old seedling with Kiminasia plant booster. As you can see, not only is our tree much larger than the control, but also the leaves are much larger and much healthier. In nursery applications in California, once again, we saw 100% faster growth rate. And the Kiminasi uh, dragon fruit seedlings here produced a five week growth time versus a 10 week growth time on the standard untreated dragon fruits. In greenhouse applications, we've seen on pepper plants a doubling of the amount of production with zero pesticide or fungicide use. And the agronomist on this field said that he's never seen this in 17 years on his greenhouses. In field applications, we've improved the quality of tomatoes to 100% of the highest quality rating with again, zero fungicide or pesticide usage. And melon productions in Brazil, we've seen a 25% increase in melon production with a reduction in minor fly, which is a pest that was destroying about 20% of their overall yield. In artichoke production, we've seen a 20%, 27% increase in artichoke production with 50% less nematodes over the control field. We've seen more vigorous growth on squash plants with an 18% increase in overall production, as well as much healthier, livelier, vines of squash that actually go up to about four feet high instead of slinking along the ground. We've seen a, re a reduction in mite infestation on grapevines down in, in Chile. This particular example was very stark because he had 48% of his untreated vines had these little insects, which were destroying about 30% of his production. With Kiminasi over a nine week period, we reduced that infestation rate on the treated field to less than 10%. As far as more yield, we have several examples where we've dramatically improved the yield. The largest asparagus grower in South America reported a 49% increase versus their control field on asparagus. We've seen a 26.7% increase in production of watermelons at the National Agrarian University in Peru. We've seen an 18% increase in pepper production in Washington state. We've seen a 55% increase in overall lime production in Colombia. We've seen a 32% increase in potato production in Bolivia. We've seen a 33% increase in lentil production in India. And not only are we getting much better quantity of yields, we're also improving quality. To give you a few examples, this particular cherry grower increased his production by 25%, but because the cherries were larger, juicier, and sweeter, he was able to sell those cherries for a dollar more per kilogram versus his standard cherries. On a plum farm in California, we've seen an improvement of five points in bricks in just four weeks of application, as well as the increase in size from about golf ball size to full size in just four weeks. The largest blueberry grower in South America reported a 10% increase in size of blueberries, as well as better bricks to acidity ratio, meaning sweeter blueberries. And we've seen a reduction in uh, damage due to freezing and a better shelf life overall. Overall, this farmer reported an increase in profit of $12,500 per hectare because of the Kiminasi plan booster. We've seen a 56% increase in the exportable blueberries due to improved quality. And we've seen better bricks rate on, um, on grapevines up in Washington State also. Again, around the world, we've, we've seen improvements in quality and quantity of yields. But we're not just doing this by destroying the soil or by pushing a lot of extra chemicals into the soil. Our system helps improve microbial activity and soil conductivity, as well as water retention, as I mentioned before. In fact, farmers are reporting that they're using much less water this year versus the previous years due to our technology. To give you a couple of examples, the first example on the soil test shows that we reduced the soil conductivity from 2.3, which was considered high, to 1.7, which was considered in a standard range. Additionally, in the sodium content of the soil went from, again, a high value of 1.1 down to 0.6, which was, again, in range. This particular farmer on, in almonds showed a 200% improvement in water penetration, and he reduced his water usage by 66% versus the previous year. This walnut grower also reported a 46% savings of water, as, as well as an addition of 30% increase in production this year. And you can see in the picture the differences between control versus the treated fields. Our system is really helping reduce the salt, uh, salt toxicity that he had in his field and improving the overall health of the trees. So this is not just a result for this year. He's going to be getting a better production overall year after year. 
But just to give you a quick summary, we routinely see increases in production of 20 to 30%. We also improve, see more fruit as well as, as well as better fresh wing. And that fruit has higher bricks rating and a better overall quality rate. We also notice that the growth of the row crops and other um, annual plants are grow much faster and more vigorous and healthier, which of course leads to producing more flowers and reducing flower and fruit drop. We've seen better improvements in the soil as well as better microbial activity in the soil, which leads this to be a sustainable product that will be able to last and continue to improve your farm year over year. So just to give you a quick uh, end, end result here, if you want to try the Cumanasi plant booster, please contact the person that sent this video to you and ask them how you can set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call like the one we're on here. And let me show you how we can improve your specific farm and your situation. Whether you want to do a trial to prove it to yourself first, or you want to jump in and take advantage of this amazing opportunity and see the same profitability that many of our farmers have already witnessed. We want to help every farmer we can, and we want to help you as well. So please give us a call and let us know how we can work together to make your farm part of the future of farming today. Have a great day, guys.